Steve, I'm here today to prove my ex is an unfit father. When I met JR, I was seven months pregnant. I thought I was making a good choice for my daughter and for myself. It ended up being the worst thing I could have possibly done ever. I'm afraid because even when we were together, he would not take care of them. So I can only imagine what's going on when they're there in his care by themselves. When he has them alone, he doesn't change their diapers. He neglects them. He doesn't feed them. He's actually left the house and left the children in there for hours at a time. A neighbor had to go around and look for him to take him home because my daughter was wandering around the streets. I went to pick my 16 month up from a visit one time. She was actually drenched in urine. He said he hadn't changed her diaper since the night before and this is like 11 o'clock the next day. My two and a half year old says, mom, daddy said get in my room and don't come out. She was in there for hours. She said she was in there all day long. For someone to treat children in that manner is just a, an awful person and just doesn't need to be around them. I've actually had neighbors call me and say he's using drugs and there's trafficking. So is he selling drugs with the kids there? I need to know that. When I think of JR, I get sick to my stomach. For the fact that he may get custody of my children just makes me sick. JR, I want you to sign your rights over and stay out of our lives forever. Um, JR, that's your ex on the tape talking. Um, is anything true what she's saying? No. I, I, I would never do that. I take good care of my kids. Um, how long were you and KC together? Three years. Three years, long time. And how many children did you have together? Uh, one. So you had one child together. Yes. But when you met her, she was seven months was pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. She, she says in the tape, she looked at this guy, oh, you know, be a good father figure to her daughter. Why is she saying this all about you? She said it because she, she, I guess she got a new man, wants me out to life. He's probably doing whatever with her. So, but that's not the issue. Dad, daddy's right here. So do you think she's saying all this so she gets custody of your kids? Yes. And well, what was the reason why you guys split up? She left one day and she, I didn't know. She just got up and left. Yep. Yeah, yeah, told me she was going to go do laundry and got a text message a little later saying she wasn't ever coming back. Come on. That, 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 that's what happened. Do you do drugs? No. Never? I have, but not, never. When, when you're I around don't. your kids, when no, you're watching no, your no, kids, you're no, not doing drugs? No, no. Never have done that? No. You ever leave your, your children, are three years old and 16, yeah. 16 months, you ever leave them alone? No. Did you take a lie detector test before the show? Yes. And I understand that we gave you a drug test at yes. some point. Um, let's bring out the woman that you were involved with. You guys are battling over custody of your kids. Let's bring her out. I want you out of my kids' life. What this is mean? a lie, JR. No, it's not. I don't, don't lock them my in kids. their room for hours at a time. When? You didn't, you didn't leave and go to a job interview. When? And I said, who watched the kids? And you said, I, I put them in their rooms. <laughs> They're fine because the baby was in her crib. And no, in her room. I would never do nothing They're like fine. that. You know I love my kids just as much no. as you do. All you, you want cannot... the kids for is your housing and your food stamps. No, you. Oh, yeah. the only reason you don't want me to see my yeah. kids is because you want me to move on. No. I'm, my daddy's here. The neighbor didn't come tell me and say, uh, Casey, um, your daughter came into my house and said, can I come play? And she's like, well, where's your dad at? And she goes, he's not home. She walked over, looked in the house, and you weren't there. What do you mean? No, we, we, we were there. standing right there. You were we were with so them. why didn't we she see them. you? What do you mean? They brought her right to me. No. A neighbor called and told me, Casey, do not let the kids come over here anymore. They said he is selling drugs. People are coming in and out of the house all hours Did he of the sell night. drugs when he was with you? Occasionally. And you were okay with that? No, I was not okay with it. So when he sold drugs when he was with you, what did you say? I told him, get his, get his lazy self up and go out and get a job. I was... <laughs> See... That's good. I was two weeks out of the hospital after having our, the second child. I'm out applying for jobs because he's too busy staying up all night partying and drinking like he's an 18-year-old. Uh, wrong. All right. He's lying. Um, your 17-year-old sister's here. Yes. Um, she's got some things she wants to say, but what I'd like to do is I want both of you to leave the stage. I'm going to talk to her, and then at some point I'll bring you back out. Okay. Casey's sister Nellie's here. Let's bring out Nellie. Hi, Steve. How you doing, Nellie? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, what do you have to add to this? JR is a freaking loser. He can't do anything. I have to, whenever he goes to work, I have to come over and check on them just to make sure they're all right. 
I came in one time. It was noon. I just got out of school. He's upstairs sleeping. Both the kids are in their room. They reeked. They had done, went to the bathroom God knows how many times. So I'm trying to wake him up, asking him, what are you doing? When did you get home last night? He's not even budging. I'm jumping on him. I'm screaming right in his ear. He's, he don't even say anything. I mean, you can ignore someone, but that's a little much. Leaving them alone. He's saying he never leaves the kids he alone. He leaves the house. And he'll come back. I'll be there. I'll come over like, where's JR? Where's daddy? Oh, he left. And he'll so you're, come back you're, with a baby monitor. He said, I went across the street. I had the baby monitor. It was fine. I said, I ain't fine. What time did you walk in and what time did he come back? I got there at about uh, noon. Like, I normally come over. He didn't come in till 8 o'clock in the evening. Okay. You're saying... He, he walked in. The kids are already eating dinner. They're sitting there eating dinner. I'm sitting there. I'm trying to call Casey. She's at work. She's thinking he's home watching them. Wait a second. You walk in the house, there's no adult in the house. No, none. Just a three-year-old and a 16-month-old. Yes. They're in the house alone. Mm -hmm. You come in at noon. He was gone completely. And he did not come back until 8 o'clock at night. Yep, exactly. All right, we got to bring this guy back out. Do you have any reason to lie about this? No, I don't. You're not trying no to lie reason. to get your no. sister custody. No, no she's, she's oh, like JR, 17 years up. old. She don't even know what being old a dog is. I don't you know, know what a being a is. No, How no. come I'm taking care of him then? You're not doing nothing. What do you mean to take care of him? Talking about I leave, come home, and you oh, just yeah, popping you up on me. Leave. You don't leave. You don't Shh. Wait, wait, wait. You're not going to tell me that. Hold on, hold on. You're not going to tell me this. Do you leave the house with the baby no, monitor? Yes, no. She oh, well, you know, get, yes, she you did. Yes, she did. Hold on. You already got to that. No. Hold on. Hold on a sec. Hold on. That's kind of a story, and it's kind of intricate detail that I'm saying. I don't believe that she's just making that up. I, I, I do. believe. Thank I do. you. Because I got I do. I do. Talking about she just pop over the house. I don't leave my kids like that. Yes, yeah, so, she do. So you, listen, have you ever left the house with the baby monitor? No. You never walked outside no, and left those kids no. alone? Oh, oh, yeah, I did tell. Oh, we, oh, we, really we were sitting on the porch. Let's Hold on, we were sitting on the porch. No. We, we were sitting on the porch. Like, the door right there, and the now I got the joint sitting outside smoking a cigarette. Because Casey did this whole little, oh, no smoking in the house. So, all right, right there in the okay. porch. But walk somewhere else? No. Are you saying that you're really doing everything right by your kids? Is I'm trying to. I ain't but, perfect, but okay, I'm trying okay. to. Okay, so would you say, admit that you made mistakes where you have left the kids a little no, too long in the no, room? No, 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 not no mistakes. <laughs> Especially not now with me fighting for custody. I'm on my P's and Q's. All right, let's bring, <laughs> let's bring Chad and KC out. Oh, this is amazing. Wait a minute. Your father, you ain't no I'm father, man. You ain't even got too much to no. say. You ain't no, even been no, here no, like no. that. No, you have man, no you a new respect cover. for the kids. You have none. Man, you man, don't have I, no respect for yourself. When, when do I see you? How do you know? You know what she tell you. Mm -hmm. I, I know for the simple fact that you don't have no you job. You know what she talking. You don't you. have no job. You don't have. You don't work. You know what she drink tell beer, you. Drink beer, liquor all day. Oh, I'm glad you know me so well. How yeah, many I times do. Have you I do. Do you work? Nah, probably not. Yeah, you know we don't work. You know we don't work. You know we don't work for you. When's the last time you yeah. had a full-time job? Uh, full-time, huh? Like that ever happened? April. Exactly, um, JR. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. exactly. April. April. What year? What year? Uh, this year. Of, of last year? Exactly. No, of Maybe this year. 08? Mm -hmm. Of this year. Where'd you work at? 08? Where'd you work at? I worked at McDonald's when I was in school. Oh, two weeks! Oh, the yeah, yeah. Two weeks! Oh, cool. you know that? Two two weeks. Hey, my Listen. daughters was eating off of them paychecks. What are your daughters eating? <laughs> Listen, there's, first of all, there's nothing wrong with working at McDonald's. How long? <laughs> How long did you work at McDonald's oh, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks? Yeah, so, two weeks, exactly. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's, that's not a whole lot of eating of two weeks' paycheck. Nah, 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 I do other things. Like right now, right now, uh, as far oh, no, as. No, wait, I'm serious now. Were you selling drugs to support your kids? He was selling drugs to support his drug habit. You say you haven't been doing any drugs? No. Okay. You took a drug test before the show? Yeah, yes. And you failed it for using marijuana? Oh, it's good! Yes. Oh, no surprise. So no surprise whatsoever. No Look surprise. all shocked. No, no, no surprise no. whatsoever. No, no, no surprise. No. If you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show, visit the link in the description to get my help. Okay, Casey, before the show, you took a lie detector test and you were asked, 
are you fabricating a story about JR neglecting the kids because you want to get rid of them? You answered no. Did you ever neglect or abuse your children? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. You were asked before the show, have you ever slept for several hours while the kids were left in a gated room alone? The answer, no. Have you mm -hmm. ever left the kids alone at home while you had a baby monitor and were elsewhere? Baby monitor. Here, you watch the kids, and I'm going to leave. Yeah. <laughs> you answer, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Have you ever slept until afternoon time while the kids went unfed? No. No. Have you ever dealt drugs from your house with the kids present? No. And the answer you said is no. And these are just unbelievably shocking results. You didn't tell the truth. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, 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 no. You just don't yeah. do that. That's not, that's not even right. You don't treat yeah, no children right. like that, man. Well, you don't treat no children like that. You know what? Like you know what? Kid, no type of man. You don't no type of man. Talking, man. No. Maybe he should. Hey, JR. That's your child, man. Maybe like he shouldn't be talking, but you should be taking care of your damn man, kids. I do take care of your kids. You haven't been working. You don't work. You don't get your ass out there. I don't want to work. And you're I taking do the easy way out. There. You're smoking dope. I'm you're not, man. You're drugs. I'm not. We're talking about a three-year-old and a 16-month-old. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm Who are waking up yeah. in the morning. They probably wake up hungry like everybody else's kids. Waking up and daddy's laying in his bed no. sleeping. No. You could sit up here and keep saying no and pound your little fist into your hand and do all this crazy. <laughs> And the thing is, a guy like you, you'd be so pissed off if anybody else did that to your kids, and you're doing it yourself. What do you, you mean I'm not doing? You are abusing your kids by not taking care of them. No, I take them care alone. of my kids. You know what? I She's right. Care of my you kids. are not a man. I take care you of my kids. You get your ass out there. I'm going to get a child. With me. I'm um, done with you. You wanted the truth. We wanted answers. We found out. You got him. Got you, it. sir, get the hell off my stage. <laughs> Good luck with your custody battle. I hope you do get custody. I hope things work out for you. And Chad, it seems like it, and it seems like you care about these kids. I love hope you love them, them as your love own. Good luck to you. Take care of those kids, okay? Thank you. Good luck. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that too.